What's up guys, Matt Attack here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how do I record my gameplays on my Matter Live channel. And these are the two programs I actually use because um, right now my Roxio gaming capture software comes with. It's not responding and I don't know how to fix it. But thank, thank God there's programs like Virtual Dub and Audacity. So, um... Many capture cards don't have live commentary, so um, if you want to do live cam commentary, recommend using Audacity because um, you have to record uh, your gameplay footage and record using Audacity at the same time to do live commentary. It's not that hard. All I have to do is like uh, capture really fast, and now I have to click here really fast, really fast to do live commentary. So all you have to do is go File, Capture AVI, and you'll get this. So right now I need to turn off my Xbox because right now my Xbox is kind of a bit broken. So let me plug it in. Oh god. Epic fail there guys. Epic fail. So let's turn it on. If it turns on. There we go. Here's the Xbox right here. This is the program I use. So um to drivers, you click on drivers, you go to Roxy Game Cap, Game Cap Catcher device, and it'll pop up this little window right here. And you go to video, um, set custom format. Now you get this. You can either go to 720 by 480. That's the best quality that Roxio can go up to. Well, actually, seven 768, but you go to 640. Or 720 and make sure to leave it to um, uh, 480 and then you click OK and you're pretty much done so after that you go audio and someone's not picking up my audio um, just give me a bit if it's not pick up your audio go right click record record drivers or something like that um, you see my little microphone it's like every time I talk it goes like this so, um, somehow I accidentally turned off my link, so I need to enable it, um, so yeah. So, oh, I kind of, I have to restart virtual dub, yeah, just give me a sec, I have to, uh, restart virtual dub for a second. A little anime character in my background, because I like anime that much, so let me get everything set up. Now you go audio, line. Roxio game cap and there you go. It records the uh, It will record the audio from the Roxio game capture device. So you go to audio Raw capture format and pick on the third one which is which is it makes it less makes makes it uh, it's hard to say it makes it less staticky and less popping noise and stuff like that. So um, click OK, and the audio will will lose a low quality, but it's better than freaking that popping sound. Like it's it's better if it doesn't do that. Um, so you have to go to File, Set Capture File. Now after that, you need to uh, name your. Uh, your recording file make sure you have to do this um it the suckiest thing about virtual dub it does not record uh any other formats than avi because a it only records avi and stuff so um so yeah that's a suckiest thing about it but yeah so you can just type in like let's play sonic I spell Sonic wrong. Epic fail. Let's play Sonic, and you press enter, but it's not recording yet until you hit capture and record software. So make sure you hit capture and hit record really fast before you make a let's play. No, before, ah, grammar. Okay, so you record, and then you hit audacity record button really fast like I just did. And if you do that, then you'll have no problems. So if you click stop on Audacity and then go to capture and stop, oh god, Audacity, stop. 
That never happened to me before, but it's, it's probably because I'm recording. And stop capture. Voila. And stuff like that. I don't know why Audacity did that, but okay. Let me open it up again. Yes. Okay, so I'm almost doing this. But okay. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. There we go. Stop. Now you go file and input as wave or mp3 either format works and after that you should be fine now no i don't want to save now after that you should use like a uh, software that you should use such as sony vegas or camtasia because i use uh camtasia a lot and camtasia is one of the good easiest softwares out there so i'm gonna open up camtasia studio 7 we click open up Camtasia Studio 7 by TechSmith. It takes a while to load um, since I have a four terabyte. No, a four terabyte. No, four gigabyte um, RAM. So yeah. Okay, let's just stretch this out a bit. So um, now we need to go to drag one of our files in and that um, audio we just created using Audacity and recording off of virtual dub. So um, now we need to drag the video file onto the timeline and don't, don't worry about this and go to record we're recording format which, uh, it, which I cannot pronounce. Now you go to tracks and able auto track 2 so now you have two audio tracks so drag the second audio track which you use from audacity and drag it in here now you have two audio files from your let's play and from audacity that you did your live commentary with now i'm going to show you how to get these black bars off now you go to the zoom in in pin tab and you click on this little box thing right here and you kind of move it aside now click it again and um and move it to the side again just give me a bit wait a second and there you go um now it's zoomed in and stuff and you can zoom in and zoom out if you want to now audio now you need to change the audio corrections because if you don't, your gameplay will be louder than uh, than your commentary, commentating. I mean, so um, make sure you go like down to here and you play it. What's up, guys? Matt here. Thank you for watching this video. And this video is going to be some like adventures part two um, let's play. So since that's really good for me. Make sure you edit this stuff around and uh, make sure you got everything right at hand and stuff. And this is like a 26 minute video uh, game let's play I did, which is already up on YouTube. I'm just giving you a demonstration what I did with my stuff. So there's callouts. You could do uh, cool things about callouts and stuff like text. Like you can put text right here and it's like, like like hi how are no how are you and you can put it whatever you want like change format and stuff size size matters very size stuff like that the fade in and fade out always works too and then after when you're done you go to uh share or just press control p and then you get this very option so now i'm going to show you how to make a live how to make set up your um format for your let's play so it can render faster and video quality maybe 50 percent less no you don't want that so you click new and you type in which which file you want so i'm going to put in 480p since the Roxio only records in 480p um, let's play now there's a different kinds of formats that 
that gives you an option to pick which format you want. The best one is WMV. No joke. Um, do not use AVI. The file will be humongous, so make sure you don't do that. Now you click on Next, Next, and now you can edit the custom size, which is 720 by 480. Make sure you got that right, right and down, or you can just go here and. You know, well, actually, you can't. It's better if you just do custom size. You click Next and don't mess with this round and then you click finish and you got your 480p let's play uh, custom custom thing you made I don't know what it's called so you grow scroll up it's gonna be right there and you click next name your file finish and it's gonna render and stuff so um, I'm not gonna render it because I already made the I already made the let's play, but um, I hope you like this video, guys. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. So that'll be it. I'm Matt Artek.